Hi friends, it's Pastor Veronica with a special story just for you. We are reading a really old book today. It's called The Train to Timbuktu. It was written by Margaret Wise Brown with pictures by Art Seiden. And you might know Margaret Wise Brown because she wrote Good Night Moon. So let's hear the story of The Train to Timbuktu. Clackety clack, clackety clack. There was a big train, and clickety clack, clickety clack, clickety click. There was a very little train. They were on their way home to Timbuktu, and they had just left the town of Kalamazoo. Slam bang, grease the engine, throw up the throttle, and give it the gun. There was a big engineer who drove the big engine, and slam bang, grease the engine, throw up the throttle, and give it the gun. There was a little engineer who drove the little engine. When the big engine went through a tunnel, the big engineer blew his big whistle. Woo! Woo! Then the little engine went through the tunnel. The little engineer blew his whistle. Wee! Wee! And clackety clack, clickety click, throw out the throttle and give it the gun. Woo! Woo! Wee! Out from the big tunnel came the big engine with the big engineer and the big coal car. Oh, I forgot to show you the last page. There's the big engine. And there it is again. And the big baggage car and the big passenger car. Ooh, it really is. And the big dining car and the big sleeping car and the little caboose. And then out from the little tunnel came the little engine with the little engineer and a little coal car. That's it. There's a little squirrel, I think. And the little baggage car and the little passenger car and the little dining car and the little sleeping car and a little caboose. Clickety click, clickety click. Clackety clack, clackety clack. Woo, woo. That great big train and that little tiny train went roaring by. Then clackety clack, clackety clack, the big train came to a big bridge over a big river. And over the big bridge went the big engine with the big engineer and the big coal car and the big baggage car and the big passenger car and the big dining car and the big sleeping car and the little caboose. There they are. Then, clickety-click, clickety-click, the little train came to a little bridge over a river, over a little river. And clickety-click, clickety-click, over the little bridge went the little engine with the little engineer and the little coal car and the little baggage car and the little passenger car and the little dining car and the little sleeping car and the little caboose. And clickety click, clickety click, clackety clack, clackety clack, pocketa, 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 pickety, 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 pickety. The trains rolled on towards Timbuktu, far down the track from Kalamazoo, until far away against the sky, there was a great big railroad station. And far away against the sky, there was a little railroad station. Woo woo! as ringing their bells. Dong, dong, dong. Ding, ding, ding. That great, great big train with the puff, puff, puff. And that tiny little train with the piff, piff, piff came home to Timbuktu. And if you switch the names of the towns in the front of the book, you can get back to Kalamazoo. From Kalamazoo to Timbuktu, it's a long way down the track. And from Timbuktu to Kalamazoo, it's just as far to go back. From Timbuktu to Kalamazoo, from Kalamazoo and back. A long, long way, a long, long way, a long way down the track. From Kalamazoo to Timbuktu, from Timbuktu and back. 
the end. Well, thank you for joining me for the story of the train to Timbuktu, which was written by Margaret Wise Brown and pictures by Art Seiden. This is a super fun book and it is was written a long time ago. It said it was uh, written in 1951. That's a little while ago. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed the train to Timbuktu. I know I did. So from Timbuktu to Kalamazoo and back to you, remember whenever you go to sleep that God loves you and so do I. Good night, friends.